Hey, this is Eric from EricLeBearHorror.webs.com. A link for that will be in the description box, as well as a link to my personal website, Twitter, and the Facebook page for Eric Bear Horror. Now, today, my topic will be The Last Airbender, directed, written, and produced by M. Night Shyamalan. First off, before I go on with this review, I have to say, I know most critics have not really been liking this movie too much. And it's a shame, because M. Night Shyamalan has been in a little bit of a slump ever since after 1999's The Sixth Sense. Shyamalan has also been through a lot in the, for, in the last couple of weeks before the movie's release. Because... Yeah, because of the, mainly because of the cast selection. He's been called a racist, and he has been put on a lot of pressure. Not only to create a blockbuster, which he obviously has done, but to create a good blockbuster. To release a good blockbuster movie. In fact, this movie being a blockbuster was inevitable. Guess as inevitable as a bird taking a crap on your car whenever the heck it feels like. First off, to start this whole review, the movie was entertaining, and I really liked it. When it came to entertainment value, this is one of the best movies M. Night Shyamalan has directed. The cast did a good job, but they had to act out questionable writing from M. Night Shyamalan. There was a lot of talking and explaining of things. There was also some re-explaining of things, which was kind of annoying at some times. And explanations for certain things would occur through either a character telling a story or a flashback. Also, the movie being in 3D was just thrown in there a couple months before the movie came out. So that leads me to my next topic. The 3D effects in The Last Air Mender are god-awful. If you didn't give in to the 3D gimmick like I did... Well, I did not give in to the 3D gimmick. You'll be able to tell that this movie was not made for 3D in the first place. It was thrown in because 3D is in just about every movie thanks to Avatar. Which happens to be the only movie that got people to love it with only special effects and no f original plot. To defend my statement, go watch my video, Why Avatar is Not As Good As Everyone Says It Is. Link for that will be in the description box and you'll be clearly able to see what vi link it is. So other than the bad 3D and the large amount of talking, it was pretty fucking good. The battles and the bending, well if you're familiar with the Avatar cartoon series, you know what bending is. With the earth fire, water, and air bending. It was pretty d epic. Despite the questionable writing from M. Night Shyamalan, the acting was good. And the movie had a pretty cool atmosphere throughout the whole way. It was kind of dark and pretty blue. And you know something's dark, but also has a little bit of a blue tone to it. That's... I don't know. Just think of a live-action Atlantis movie. It'd be kind of that kind of atmosphere. It's pretty cool. And anyway, that atmosphere carried on throughout the whole movie, which worked out pretty well, considering M. Night Shyamalan's style. Overall, I give The Last Airbender 6.5 out of 10, meaning that it is worth watching, and if you want to be entertained, go see this movie. Thank you for watching the review. Comment, subscribe. If you have a different opinion, you can comment on my channel, comment on the video, or send me a message. So thank you for watching. And have a good day. Or night. Whatever time you're watching this video.